Today we'll be looking at the expansion for your Cawdor gangs in Necromunda. These are the Cawdor Redemptionists. And let's go ahead and open this up and see what the sprues look like. Got the deacon, the priest, brethren, and zealot. There's a little bit more options than you normally get in the uh, expansions. So we have our bases here. We have our instructions. And the two sprues here. I can already foresee amazing kit bashing potential in this one. Especially if you want to do cultists, uh, chaos cultists. Alright, let's go ahead and get these models put together. Alright, so I finished putting together my redemptionists. And let's talk about my favorite thing when I work on Necromunda kits, the leftovers. So my set came with four extra bases, which I enjoy. I use those to convert other models to Necromunda. And the value in the sets. So I always cut as many bits I can off one sprue to leave the remaining. So we have a bunch of spare bits here, a little flamer shotgun, uh, auto guns, another flamer, lots of flame, and a nice little chain weapon here little flame pole and little books. These will be nice little uh, extras to make a, you know, an Inquisitor gang or Adeptus Ministorum uh, militia team. They're just some special Blanchet to get bash stuff. So great set for that with some of these leftover pieces. But if we look at the models themselves, so most of these um, Second wave expansion kits for most of the gangs normally have four models that'll just be like Jews and two models that'll be champions. Since the Redemptionists are their own faction or sub faction within Necromunda, you get a Redemptor Priest to serve as a leader for the Redemptionist gang. Then you get two champions. And then you get three brethren that can serve as regular gangers or Jews here. Um, so where, so the biggest drawback of the set is most of these expansion sets, you just add them onto an existing gang. You can't do that with Redemptionists, but narratively, they just have their own look and their own narrative backstory. So one box of these really isn't enough to field a whole gang of Redemptionists. In my opinion, you probably need a second box. And there's not too much variety in the sculpts. But speaking of that, you do see they do make the models where you could see that in the future some secondary bits kit could be released to tug into these arms. Or if you want to modify them now, all these are actually pretty well designed to be slit at the wrist to put new weapon systems on. If you'd like. So overall... Very happy with this set here, and came in at the usual Games Workshop price, uh, $42. So, alright, if you play House Cawdor, you're definitely going to want these models. Alright, well thank you for joining us at Miniature Wargaming Labs, and we'll see you next time.